I have a lot of time for James Cacknell, who is an Olympic rower, and he, uh, he, he also rowed across the Atlantic, and he was hit by a, by a um, lorry in the US, uh, sustained serious head injuries, and is now standing as a Conservative candidate, and has described the the the, the, the gambling scandal, Gamblegate, uh, and the Tories involved in it as a shower of shit, in a video that he posted on Facebook. I think he's absolutely right. He has gone further. He says, if one of my teammates got caught for cheating, they'd be dead to me. That abuse of trust is unforgivable. And his comments have come out as more allegations have surfaced. And there's a fellow called Professor Matthew Godwin, uh, who is from the University of Kent. And he, fo he he's particularly interested in populism and has written a number of books about the rise of populism in Britain and elsewhere. And he says that the scandal, this gaming scandal, reaffirms the image of the Tory party priorities of self over country. And, and, and that is why, coming at this particular point, it brings back the Partygate story, it, bing, it brings back the uh, Matt Hancock in the cupboard story, it brings back all these little scandals, the Pretty Patel bullying story. It brings back the idea that the, the individuals, the named individuals in the Conservative Party, the people with power, are more important and can duck moral responsibility more easily than ordinary people uh, who are just voting for them. But here's the crunch. It's the ordinary people who have the vote who, on July the 4th, have the power. And I think the ordinary people are going to send a disturbing message. Because the only way uh, I think anybody is going to be elected for the Conservative Party is if they are away from the right wing, from these thugs and bullies, number one, and number two, if they have distanced themselves from the current conservative leadership uh, that, in Keir Starmer's words, are trying to kick the can down the road uh, with respect to the gambling scandal. It won't go down the road. There is no further road left. It needs to be dealt with, dealt, deci dealt with decisively, and the people involved need to have the honour to stand up. There has to be a point at which honour is displayed, a sort of Lord Carrington point at which we can see and taste honour. Um, and I don't see it. I see wriggling and I see avoidance. And I see the uh, Craig Williams just simply ducking out of view. And that for somebody who's been in Parliament for a while and who's used to the limelight, used to sitting directly behind the Prime Minister and whispering sweet nothings in his ear, is a disgrace, is an absolute disgrace. The, you, you, you elect somebody to public office and you expect them to behave in public with dignity and with honour. He has none.